Let's see what open ports we have on our Windows 10 computer. Of course, we can go into the firewall, and the firewall will tell us what ports that we have. We'll go to Windows Defender Firewall and Windows 10, but it doesn't really tell us the whole story. So if we want to see what ports are currently listening on our computer, then we need to do something a little bit different. But first, I just want to show you the inbound rules. There's all of our inbound rules. Anything with a green check mark means that it's an open rule or it's a rule that's allowing this traffic to be passed. If you don't see a green check mark, that means it's not allowing that traffic to be passed. However, there's something else going on, and that is the computer itself has to be listening on that port in order to make sure it can be connected to. And you also want to make sure that you don't have ports being listened on that could be causing a security issue. So I'm going to open up a command prompt. And I'm going to type netstat for network statistics minus an. And I'm going to do a pipe command and do more. Now, in some languages, the pipe command is a little bit difficult to find. It might be where the tilde is, such as the UK keyboard, from what I understand. All right, so hit enter. And what this does is it shows us all of the different ports that the computer is listening on. Now, this is not the same as what ports are allowed to be passing traffic. So, for instance, for this first port, TCP port 80, well, I probably have, say, Internet Information Services installed on here. So I'm listening on port 80. But unless the firewall is also allowing that traffic to get through, then just the fact that I'm listening on port 80 doesn't mean anything. It's going to get blocked by the firewall. So there also has to be a corresponding firewall under the inbound rules for HTTP traffic. Let's see if we can find that. And I found that under World Wide Web Services, HTTP traffic in. And you might see as you scroll through here another rule such as network streaming that might also use port 80. And you want to make sure if you want to block it, you have to block all the different ones that have port 80 simply by right clicking and choosing disable rule or you could just right click and choose enable rule. Now you don't have to enable all of the different ones. You just have to enable at least one of them to get it to work. But if you don't want it to, to be working on your computer, you'll have to disable all of them by doing that procedure. All right. So now we know that our computer is listening on port 80 and we have it as the traffic is being passed on port 80. So let's test from another computer to see whether we can get in on port 80. I'm now on a Windows server. And I'm going to run the same command prompt. And what I want to do is type the telnet command. But before you can do that, you have to install the telnet service. So I'm going to click on Add Roles and Features. I'm just going to make sure that telnet is installed on my server. And that's going to be telnet client. You don't need the telnet server for this test. And there's my telnet client. So if yours is not installed, you can go ahead and check that box. You'll also see the same option for Windows 10 as well. You can install that by going into Programs and Features. And you would enable it by clicking Turn Windows Features On or Off. And you would do that from the Windows 10 computer and choose the Telnet client. All right, so I've already done this from my server. I can do it from a server, from a client. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to type in Telnet, followed by either the name or the IP address of the computer. And then the port number. So we know we're working with TCP port 80. Now this only works with TCP ports, not with UDP ports. However, you can use a program like Nmap to also scan UDP ports. I'll hit enter and I get a clear screen. That means that that port is open and I should be able to connect to it. I'm going to go back to my Windows 10 computer and block that port now. I'm back in my Windows 10 computer, and I'm going to right-click and choose to disable that rule. So even though we're still listening on port 80, meaning that there's an application that's actually using port 80, we should now be blocked when we try to connect to port 80. And this is how you can troubleshoot whether or not your computer is listening as well as the firewall traffic is being allowed for a specific port so your applications can work properly. I'm back in my Windows server. I'm going to type in the same command, port 80. And now it's trying to connect. And we see that it did not turn into a clear black screen. That means that it's going to error out after about 10 to 30 seconds. 
And there it is, could not open connection to host. So by turning that rule off, now we can no longer connect to it. It'll still work internally on the Windows 10 computer, but nobody else can connect to it. So why is this important? Well, it's important for a couple different reasons. One is for applications. You want to make sure your applications can work. And if you want to share those applications with other people, you want to make sure that both the firewall is allowing the traffic as well as the computer is listening on that port. The other thing you want to make sure is that you don't have any ports that are open as well as firewall ports allowing any traffic for any ports that may result in a security risk. So for instance, we're using 3389 for remote desktop. If you don't want others to connect to your computer on 3389, you can either disable remote desktop or you can just disable the firewall rule for remote desktop. And by going into the firewall, there is the remote desktop rule for TCP in. And if I double click on it, it's going to tell me that it's using port 3389. And there it is, port 3389. So now we know how to view ports that are open as well as port traffic that is allowed on a Windows 10 computer. And this also works on a Windows server as well.